Tabletop Simulator module, Save My City game. There is the PDF file with the instructions, but I thought that I will also give the demonstration for those people who <coughs> prefer watching video, even if it lasts 15 minutes or so. First, the game requires to make a setup. So for this reason, I will select the terrain tiles uh, first. In the printed version of the game, we can simply draw the uh, tiles. Here I will randomize them quickly. And you can use any method that you want for in your game. The terrain tiles have been randomized. Now the two garrison units third and in space of six so i have to choose between two sixes let's put it here second one five and area three so let's put it there the last bit of the setup three initial dice nice the higher the better, you see, they are available. And first we decide, <coughs> we start play, playing the um, planning phase. So all dice are already here. We can transmit pips between them or simply <coughs> use them to our advantage. One thing that I can do is to reduce the capacity here and hmm, maybe here. I will leave this die in. So because the game is supposed to be simple, there is the stacking limit in every area. This is mostly about the enemies that will be coming off map and I hope that they will be coming through here. So basically, die roll of six, I have to roll six or less, I cannot fail, the capacity of swamp two dice is decreased by one. This is goes down by one pip and is returned. Now the same with this, five or six, it is done. Oop. Yeah. Should be like this. And now no one will go through the sea. Yay. So this is done. The hostile activity phase. We have to roll on the event table. Maybe enemies will not be appearing. So traitor and advance. If there is a traitor option, we have to flip all the garrisons that are without dice. In this case, well, we do not know whether they are loyal. Loyal! Loyal! But because the traitor part has happened, I also perform the advance. Because there are no enemies on the map, first thing we have to mm, roll for the area through which they will enter. We roll this twice. Two, so one entry zone is here and the second five here as well. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe this is why the game is still in the development. So eight dice, just like white dice, this is going to be rolled and the they appear through this area they move in so i take four dice and they enter here they will be going one area with each advance towards the center or the red star objective hexes so for now this is done mm. 
what happens next is uh, we mark the time passing and we begin the next turn. The next turn the left die is increased by one, the dice in soon pool become available and once again player allocates those dice or transfers the pips uh, the way that they want because I know that the most likely those dice will be coming here I do want to start a defensive so this this garrison will be moved and honestly this garrison can move just as well uh, 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 uh. okay so movement garrisons move with dice into the adjacent they are manning the walls because we know that C is impassable right now the next garrison goes here so there, there are no enemies in those areas so there is no combat and we go over to the hostile activity event so once again die roll and on 4 it's just advance this time I will just move those dice nearby because we move them one by one starting from the highest so we know that there are three fives first will go into the wall against the garrison and now the next five cannot go here so they will be actually going there and they capture the one of the objective areas marked with red star if the second red star will be occupied by enemy well this may spell the end game condition four goes here and now all the remaining dice threes and twos can simply enter the clear area at the end of the movement because those dice are sharing the uh, area with the player's pieces we have to resolve combat but I placed those two fives on the arrow here to denote that the value in combat resolution the value of those dice coming onto the walls is decreased by two so how how does the combat work well there are those let's say that those two dice are for the black dice and this is the white die I need to roll equal or lower than the die value so for the two fives here it will be three or less and here five or less so let's see how this works out well it works out like this mm, four is above modified power two is below and three is below white five so in short one die receives one hit the value decreases by one and one die officially the highest but because they are both the same it doesn't really matter it goes the value goes down by one if the die roll here would be actually um, lower by three or more than the required die value then the opposite side that suffered the heat would have to retreat let's say into adjacent area but this didn't happen the enemy is on the walls right now and this is the end of the second round it just goes so quickly see so once again the beginning of the next turn this available die goes up by one because the people are being more and more prepared the next step would be transferring pips within the available pool the next segment of the allocation is actually transferring dice between available and the possible areas so what I would like to do because I know that there will be people coming down this wall is maybe I'm transferring the dice from the 
area and then I can simply reshuffle the dice a little bit. Let's say like this. There will be combat, we will man the walls here. So let's see how this will how this will work. The placement has been done. A resolution basically this marker moves onto the next defense spot. And after at the end of the movement, because I left this garrison here, I have to fight against the black dice. This time the value of those black dice will not be modified by minus two because they are already here. So once again two dice for the black ones, one for the garrison, and we see that six, six, this missed, this missed, but this actually rolled three below required, so garrison is actually pushed away from the walls. Value goes down by one because it's a hit. I cannot overstack with here, I can retreat here or there. This is the objective hex, so let's say that this is in fact the place to be. Next step after this is actually the rolling for the hostile event. So we roll on the table here, and it's free, so basic advance. And once again, we start from the mm, from the highest dice right now. So they follow into the city. Those start climbing the walls on this side, just like for here. Now those guys um, for into the city, they will just clamber the walls, but right now the remaining ones, this is the occupancy limit or stacking limit for the hostile black dice. So those remaining ones, they cannot move here because of this minus one. The only adjacent place is here, so we move on to the farm. And now once again we have combat on the walls and in the city. I will start with the city because we know a little bit about the modifier for the climbing the walls. Now is the question about this, minus 1a. It means that every time that one side is resolving combat, the active side or the attacking side, the, their value are decreased by one. So once again, two black dice, one white. Black dice are actually suffering from minus one modifier. So six, this is a miss. Two, it's a hit, but only because the value of the die is decreased by one, so it's actually a four. It's just a hit. And defenders rolled one. This is three below. So now, mm, this die is decreased by one and has to retreat because it suffered the hit. Only only this die. Now the attack the black die or hostiles they have to retreat backwards. So they have to retreat away from the center. But this breaks the limit of stacking. So what can be done? Well if this is the only the only possible place and actually it is the, those four pips, they have to be separated between the, divided between the present dice. So in this case, I can simply fill up on six, two, and this was three, so four. And this die is effectively eliminated. Uh, the battle on the walls, two dice for the blacks decreased by two and defenders. So it looks like the attackers made it to walls, but the the highest attacker suffers one hit. And this is the end of the this is the end of the next another turn. The game continues like this and it will right now the victory or maybe the end game conditions are to last until the dice hit six and then on the very next turn if you roll four five six the game ends if the hostiles will not occupy the star areas by then two red are enough or just one white in the center 
then the city does not fall. So yes, in a way it's a, it is a battle of attrition and it remains questionable whether the defenders will be able to make it. It really depends on the die rolling, lots of die rolling. Maybe, maybe you do like dice rolling, who knows. But in any case I hope that by seeing this uh, demonstration, the game and how it plays, it becomes a little more clearer than my postcard-sized instructions. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time.